Hey there, financially savvy viewers. Welcome back to Amateur Money, the channel where we empower you with the knowledge and tools to take control of your finances. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. And for all our loyal viewers, we appreciate you and thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to talk about some common mistakes to avoid when managing your money. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with practical tips and strategies to help you make better financial decisions. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up or click the like button. It helps us reach more people and spread the message of financial literacy. And don't forget to leave your comments below. We love hearing from our audience and your feedback helps us create more valuable content. So, let's get started. Not having a budget. It's easy to get caught up in the moment and overspend when you don't have a budget. A budget is like a roadmap that helps you stay on track with your finances. By creating a budget, you can get a clear understanding of where your money is going and make informed decisions about your spending. Start by listing all of your income and expenses, and then allocate a specific amount for each category. You can use a budgeting app or spreadsheet to help you stay organized and track your progress. Remember, sticking to a budget can help you achieve your financial goals and reduce stress about money. Not saving for emergencies. Life is full of surprises, and unexpected expenses can pop up at any time. That's why it's crucial to have an emergency fund. An emergency fund is a separate savings account that you set aside for unexpected expenses such as car repairs, medical bills, or job loss. The general rule of thumb is to have at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved up. Start by setting a realistic savings goal and then automate your savings by setting up a direct deposit from your paycheck into your emergency fund. Remember, having an emergency fund can provide peace of mind and prevent you from going into debt during a financial crisis. So start saving today and build up that emergency fund. Living paycheck to paycheck. It's a common trap to fall into, but living paycheck to paycheck can leave you vulnerable to financial stress and hardship. If an unexpected expense arises, it can be difficult to cover the cost without going into debt. To avoid this situation, it's important to break the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. Start by creating a budget and identifying areas where you can cut back on expenses. Even if it's just a small amount, try to save at least 10% of your income each month. This can help you build a cushion and break the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. You can also look for ways to increase your income, such as asking for a raise or taking on a side hustle. Remember, the key is to be proactive and take steps to improve your financial situation. By doing so, you'll be better prepared for unexpected expenses and achieve financial stability. Not investing. Not investing your money is a missed opportunity to grow your wealth over time. Investing allows your money to work for you and potentially earn higher returns than a savings account. Don't be intimidated by investing, it's important to start somewhere. A simple way to begin is by opening a retirement account, such as an individual retirement account, IRA, or a 401k if offered by your employer. However, it's important to note that each type of investment account has different tax benefits and restrictions, and you should research them carefully before making a decision. Another option is to invest in low-cost index funds or exchange-traded funds ETFs, which provide exposure to a diversified mix of stocks or bonds, reducing your risk. Remember, investing involves some risk, but by diversifying your investments and taking a long-term approach, you can help grow your wealth and achieve your financial goals. So start investing today and don't miss out on the potential returns. Using credit cards irresponsibly. Credit cards can be a useful tool for building credit and earning rewards, but they can also be a slippery slope to debt if not used responsibly. One common mistake is carrying a balance on your credit card and paying high interest rates. To avoid this, try to pay your credit card balance in full each month. If you can't pay it off in full, make sure to pay more than the minimum payment to reduce the amount of interest you'll be charged. Another mistake is maxing out your credit card, which can hurt your credit score and increase your debt-to-income ratio. To avoid this, aim to keep your credit utilization below 30% of your available credit. Finally, avoid using credit cards for impulse purchases or things you can't afford. Instead, use them for planned purchases and pay them off promptly. By using credit cards responsibly, you can build credit, earn rewards, and avoid debt. Not tracking your expenses. Keeping track of your expenses is crucial for effective money management. 
Without knowing where your money is going, it's difficult to make informed decisions about your finances. To avoid this mistake, start by tracking your expenses using a budgeting app, spreadsheet, or even a pen and paper. Categorize your expenses, such as rent, mortgage, utilities, groceries, transportation, and entertainment. Be honest with yourself about your spending habits and identify areas where you can cut back. Tracking your expenses can help you identify any wasteful spending and adjust your budget accordingly. It can also help you stay on track with your financial goals, such as saving for a down payment on a house or paying off debt. Remember, tracking your expenses doesn't have to be complicated, but it is essential for managing your money effectively. So start tracking your expenses today and take control of your financial future. Another common mistake people make when managing their money is overspending on everyday purchases. However, there are several ways to save money on daily expenses and reduce your overall expenses. Here are some practical tips to help you reduce your expenses and save money. Cut cable costs. Cable TV is often one of the most expensive monthly bills, but there are several alternatives to cable TV that can help you save money. Consider switching to a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu, which offers many of the same shows and movies at a lower cost. You can also negotiate with your cable provider to reduce your bill by eliminating channels or bundling services. Plan meals in advance. Planning your meals in advance can help you save money on groceries and eating out. Before heading to the grocery store, make a list of what you need and stick to it. You can also plan meals around sales and coupons to save even more. If you don't have time to cook every day, consider meal prepping for the week to save time and money. Compare prices. Before making a purchase, do some research to compare prices from different retailers. You can use websites like Amazon, eBay, and Google Shopping to compare prices and find the best deals. Additionally, consider buying used or refurbished items, which can be significantly cheaper than buying new. By following these tips, you can reduce your daily expenses and save money for the future. Remember, every little bit counts, and small changes can add up to big savings over time. Setting financial goals is an essential part of managing your money effectively. By having clear goals in mind, you can make informed decisions about your spending and investments, and stay motivated to achieve your objectives. Here are some tips on how to set and measure your financial goals. Identify your financial objectives. Start by defining what you want to achieve financially. Do you want to save for a down payment on a house, pay off debt, or start a retirement fund? Be specific and prioritize your goals. Set realistic and measurable goals. Make sure your goals are achievable and have a specific time frame. For example, instead of setting a vague goal like, save more money, set a specific goal like, save $5,000 in the next 12 months. This way, you can track your progress and adjust your strategy accordingly. Break down your goals into smaller milestones. Breaking down your goals into smaller steps can make them less overwhelming and easier to achieve. For example, if your goal is to save $5,000 in 12 months, you could break it down into monthly savings targets of $417. Develop a plan of action. Once you have identified your financial goals and milestones, create a plan of action to achieve them. This could include cutting back on expenses, increasing your income, or investing in the stock market. Make sure your plan is realistic and aligns with your goals. Track your progress. Regularly track your progress towards your financial goals and adjust your plan if necessary. This can help you stay motivated and on track to achieve your objectives. Remember, achieving your financial goals takes time, effort, and discipline. But by setting clear goals, developing a plan of action, and tracking your progress, you can take control of your finances and achieve your long-term objectives. And that's it for today's video. We hope you found these tips helpful for avoiding common mistakes when managing your money. Remember to create a budget, save for emergencies, avoid living paycheck to paycheck, invest your money, use credit cards responsibly, track your expenses, and reduce your daily expenses. By implementing these strategies, you can take control of your finances and work towards achieving your financial goals. 
It's important to note that managing money effectively takes time and effort, and you may not see immediate results. But by staying committed and making small changes, you can gradually improve your financial situation and achieve your long-term goals. We believe that everyone can achieve financial success with the right mindset and tools, and we're grateful for you, our financially savvy viewers, for taking the time to watch this video and learn with us. We appreciate your support and we're excited to continue bringing you valuable content that can help you on your journey to financial freedom. So, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below to let us know what you thought of this video, and to suggest any topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching, and remember, with the right knowledge and effort, you can achieve your financial dreams.